Bismillah Rahman Rahim uh, friends today in this uh, video you will learn about uh, WLC wireless lane controller uh, how we are configuring uh, WLC or wireless lane controller so first of all let me take one wireless lane controller WLC if you have multiple access points in that case you need a switch because WLC has only one port you will connect it port to the switch and all the access points with the switch uh, for WLC you need uh, lightweight access points it doesn't work with other access points you need to have lightweight access point here I'm taking two lightweight access points and from here I'm taking some end devices uh, one laptop this is the second laptop this is the third laptop and this is the fourth laptop okay now let's uh, connect all these devices with each other WLC with the switch and the switch with the first access point and the switch with the second access point uh, now let's uh, start uh, our configuration uh, first of all I am going to the first access point click on the access point and power on the access point bring this power adapter and connect it here now the access point is powered on and let's change the name AP AP1 second access point power on the access point and change the name AP2 now close this window and now we are going to configure the WLC click on the WLC it is already powered on go to config first of all you need to set the management configuration here I'm giving the IP 168.1.10 this is the subnet mask in the gateway I'm going to take 192.168.1.254 this will be my gateway and this will be my DNS Six eight one dot hundred. Okay. Uh, click on the gigabit Ethernet zero. All the all these things should be tick marked or it should be check mark. Now I'm uh, coming to DHCP. Uh, here, let's configure the DHCP. Uh, for example, I'm giving a name WLC pool uh, the default gateway was 192.168.1.254 and DNS server was 192.168.1.100 and starting at start the IP address from 192.168.1.100 dot one start from hundred and one subnet marks two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five zero and maximum number of users should be hundred uh, if you have tftp server you can write the ip address of the tftp server wlc address is 192.168.1.10 now uh, add this 
click here and save this uh, well, let's come to wireless lens and now we have two access points and uh, let's uh, do the configuration of the two access points uh, AP1 AP1 and put the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is the password and click on save WEP2 and save now it is saved take the second access point as well AP2 AP2 WPA2 and I'm giving a password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for both the access points the same password now we have two access points if you want to group the access points you can uh, do the grouping from here for example you have different departments and the different access points you are going to assign to the different groups so it is done here let's uh, close this window now for the default uh, gateway I am taking one router as well this is my router uh, let's connect this router uh, with the with the switch now the router is connected with the switch and uh, uh, from end devices uh, I'm going to take uh, one server for uh, DNS uh, let's connect this server as well with the switch first uh, I am going to uh, configure the router click on the router uh, change the display name R1 and the host name is also R1 and go come to the interface uh, the interface should be on and assign the IP address 192.168.1.254 and this is the gate now the interface is up now and now let's configure the DNS server on this server uh, config let's I'm giving here server 1 okay and the default uh, gateway is 192.168.1.254 and the DNS server is 192.168.1.100 let's also assign the IP address for this server 192.168.1.100 now it is ok and let's uh, start the DNS server name for example uh, uh, test test DNS server ok this is the name and let's sign the IP address for DNS server 108 click on it and save now close this window now oh, we are going to connect the laptops with these access points click on the laptop turn off the laptop remove this LAN card and insert wireless LAN card and again turn it on same steps for the for other laptops power off remove insert wireless LAN card and turn on now same steps for this, this laptop as well turn off the laptop remove this LAN card and insert wireless LAN card and again turn it on 
same step for this slip to turn it off remove the land card and insert wireless land card turn it on now let's connect these uh, uh, laptops with this access uh, points so before connecting the laptops let's start the uh, DHCP server also change the wireless LAN controller name to WLC and power on the server the DHCP now let's connect click on the desktop uh, PC wireless connect here the two access points will come let's wait for it and now the access points uh, are appeared here so let me connect this laptop with the access point one Mm, click on the access point and then click on connect and provide the pre shared key or the security key or the password and connect. Let me close this window now. This laptop is connected with AP1. Do the same steps for the other laptop as well. Click on connect. Uh, AP1 connect and provide the password and click on connect now it is also connected it uh, will do some mismatch uh, uh, connectivity but don't worry uh, it is happening in uh, Cisco packet tracer connect the second third laptop with the ap2 follow the same steps now all the laptops are connected with the access points and for verification let's check the IP addresses of the laptops uh, here write IP config command now the IP address uh, for this laptop is 192.168.1.1 103 let's ping the first uh, let me ping the IP address of the wireless LAN controller 192.168.1.10 let's wait for it now the reply is coming uh, now ping the DNS server from DNS server also the reply is coming now uh, also ping the gateway 192.168.1.10 sorry ping we forget the ping command ping now uh, the reply is also coming from the uh, gateway so this was the configuration of wireless land controller i hope you enjoyed this video and also share with your friends thank you for watching